Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video I will be upgrading the extruder system on my Core XY 3D printer that I built myself about two years ago. I will be installing an Orbiter V2 extruder combined with a standard Ender 3 hot end and cold end because I have this uh, leftover from my Ender 3 that I upgraded to a BQH2 extruding system. So now let's begin. About two years ago I started designing and making this Core XY 3D printer and I used uh, basically only parts that I had at home already or as much as possible. That's why I used the old extruder or a replacement extruder for my Ender 3 on this uh, printer just with a Bolton tube and a fake or a clone, not a fake, a clone V6 E3D <laughs> hot end. Um, and this combination gave me a lot of problems because, because it um, always got stuck. So now I decided that I want to use this 3D printer and upgrade it. So because of that, I will now be changing out the extrusion system to the orbiter. And this will hopefully give me a much more reliable 3D printer that I can actually use to make parts. This is my Core XY 3D printer, the design that I made. And this is the new extruder that I designed. So you can see on the back I put the fan on the back because I want to save um, space in the front so it wouldn't uh, protrude so much. It already is uh, quite far out. This is the cold end of the extruder that I uh, need to cool with the fan and on the, under it there is the, the hot end. The hot end's purpose is to melt the filament, the cold end's purpose is to stop it from melting so it is um, solid on top so you get uh, very little material that is molten and not um, a whole bunch that would um, not be very controllable. That thing that I just marked here is the heat break. It makes sure that the heat doesn't get sucked up into the, into the heat sink so it um, doesn't use as much power and it gets temperature and the cold end can stay cold. So you can see I made a, a channel through the entire part that um, the air flows through and cools off the extruder, the cold end of the extruder. So now let's print the parts. I printed all these parts with a layer height of 0.28 millimeters and the normal um, 0.4 millimeter nozzle. To print out these parts I used my Ender 3 which is an absolute workhorse especially with the BQH2 extruder that's on there and the print plate I love it because when it cools down the parts just you can they're not attached anymore but when it's hot uh, they are held very securely. So now let's tap all the threads on these parts. And before installing this extruder on the Core XY printer, I want to see how well this uh, mounting system works. So I just put in uh, some scrap belt and then pulled on it as hard as I could and I wasn't able to pull it out. So the printer will definitely not be able to pull it out. So I start assembling everything. I start by um, mounting the cooling fan to the bracket and then the orbiter to the same bracket. And then I can put both of them into the extruder. Something that would be very practical in the future would be if I could mount the cooling fan with magnets so I can just take that off and don't have to um, unscrew a screw so I can uh, fold it away to um, install both of them onto the extruder itself. 
This is now the complete assembly of the extruder. It weighs 244 grams and um, now let's go and install it on the 3D printer. Obviously to install it we have first have to take off the old extruder. So I start here by loosening the belt fasteners. Then I can just uh, pull the belts out. And after that I screwed out screwed off the, the end stop, cut off the zip ties that held the, the cables together and now we can take it off. I take out uh, the heater and the thermistor out of the old hot then because I will be reusing that and now we are going to lengthen all the cables of the new fans because the, they always come with a, <laughs> a, a cable that's like five centimeters long so useless for absolutely everything so you have to um, solder them. <laughs> This contraption was a desperate attempt to lower the 24 volts for the fans because the fans were 12 volt and not 24 volt and um, it did work a bit but uh, these things just got very hot back there so it wasn't a great solution but I guess the fans didn't break so I guess and now we can install the new hot end assembly by installing first um, just the, the body of it and then the end stop and the fan and then I could um, install the belts and then tighten them with the screws in the back and then you can screw on the front part so the orbiter and the cooling fan and now we can manage all the cables as you can probably tell, I'm not great at this, but uh, it still worked, so that's good enough for me. And something very important to me is also the safety of my uh, machines, so uh, especially electrically. You should never uh, do this if you don't know what you're doing, because um, this can kill you, this electricity. Um, I installed here a cable with a grounding because um, it is very dangerous to install one that doesn't have grounding if the machine you're working on is made out of uh, metal, the casing, you can touch it, you can get a shock from it if uh, something fails. So that's something uh, very important to me. And when I first tried it out there were a few problems with the printing quality but um, I had to tune a few things in the software, I had to do the usual things, I had to um, calibrate the linear advance and the accelerations and the speeds of uh, everything. So I was able to uh, get the result that uh, I was more or less happy with. There are obviously things I will have to improve still, for example I will need to um, install a cooling shroud so the fan actually cools something because at the moment it uh, doesn't but uh, all in all I'm very happy with uh, how this project turned out I would be very happy if you had any suggestions about uh, the printer so um, what I could improve about it um, I will probably um, change the y-axis guides out for um, linear rails instead of the, the rod bearings, bearing rods, uh, because they are just not very stiff and I think when I, if I want to go fast with this printer I need to change this out. And um, with that, thank you for watching. If you like this video I would really appreciate it if you would like the video 
or subscribe to my channel. And with that, thank you for watching and until next week.